Hello students, welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed measurements and we said measurement is the process of finding the size of physical quantities. We also discussed the two main types of physical quantities. The first one we said they are basic quantities and the other one is derived quantities. Among the examples of basic quantities, which we said there are only seven, we discussed rent as an example of a basic quantity. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss rent. My name is Albert. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define rent and state the SI unit of rent explain the methods of measuring rent and then finally state the factors to consider when choosing an instrument for measuring rent. Rent is defined as the distance between two points. A good example in this case if you want to measure the distance between point A and point B then you will take a measuring instrument and measure that distance. Now the result you will obtain is a good example of length. Another example of length is like if you want to measure the size or the length of your textbook or exercise book. Length is a basic quantity. Basic quantity remember we said it means this one cannot be obtained from other physical quantities and its SI unit is meter, which is denoted by small m. Examples of length, one is a diameter. A diameter is when you have a circle and you have a line which cuts through the center of the circle to the other end. This is what we call a diameter. Then we have height. A good example of height is if you have a cylinder and then a cylinder like that and then you measure this height or the distance from the bottom to the at the top of that cylinder in that case you will get a height and then another example of length is height or width a width is if, if you have a rectangle like this and then a rectangle has two sides, one is length, then the other one is width. Now, if you measure the distance from this point to this point of a rectangle, then you will obtain a width. Another example of length is also depth. Although the meter is the standard unit of length, it is sometimes too big to measure some distances. Like, uh, for example, if you need to know the size of the thickness of a paper, and sometimes it is too small to measure some distances. For example, if you want to measure the length of the field, we therefore need other larger and smaller units related to meter to carry out some measurements. That is why we have multiples and some multiples of a meter. And we are going to look at few examples of multiples and some multiples of a meter. And the first one is one kilometer is equals to 1000 meters. One hectometer is equal to 100 meters. One decameter is equals to 10 meters. And I want to be very keen because in the next part, we are going to look at a few examples where we are going to use these interconversion units to convert different uh, dimensions to SI unit. One meter is equals to 10 decimeters. One meter is equals to 100 centimeters. One meter is equals to 1000 millimeter. And then finally, one meter is equals to 1 million micrometer. Micrometer, we write it like this as a simple for micrometer. Now from the multiples and submultiples that we have looked at, 
we are in a position to answer a few questions and the question is convert the following into SI units. So the first thing a student should know is the SI unit of rent, that is meter. So the question needs us to convert the rents that they have given us here into meter. So the first thing that a student should know is to give the relationship between the measurement that they have given us in relation to the SI unit. Like in the first question, number A, they have given us length in kilometers and we said one kilometer is equals to 1,000 meters. Then now if they have given us 1,000 kilometers, how many meters will be there? Then you cross multiply and it will be 1,000 kilometer times 1,000 meter over one kilometer. Then in this case, a kilometer will go with kilometer and then we will remain with 1,000 times 1,000 meter, which is going to be 1 million meter. So in this case, 1,000 kilometer is equals to 1 million meters. The second question, they have given us length in millimeters and they want us to convert it to SI unit that is meters. So the first thing we write down is the relationship between a millimeter and a meter. And as we said earlier, one meter is equals to 1,000 millimeters. So they have given us 0 0.00025 millimeters. Then how many meters will be there? As usual, you cross multiply and then you will get one meter times, times 0 0.00025 millimeters over 1000 millimeters. Then in this case, millimeters will cancel out with millimeters and then we will remain with one meter times 0 0.00025 over 1000, which is going to be 0 0.00025 meters. So 0 0.00025 millimeter is equals to 0 0.00025 0.00025 meters. So I'm going to do the last one, number C, and then you do number D and E because you can see what exactly we are doing. So the first thing that a student should do in this question here is to know the relationship between an hectometer and a meter. And as we said earlier, one hectometer is equals to 100 meters. And now if they have given us 0 0.01 hectometer, how many meters will be there? So as usual, you cross multiply and then it will give us 0 0.01 hectometer times 100 meter over 1 hectometer. Then in this case, an hectometer will go with hectometer then we will remain with zero. Let me use the blue pen. We will remain with, we will remain with 0 0.01 times 100 meter. And then the final answer will be one meter. Then now students, I expect you to do or to attempt number D and number E in this uh, video. Then if you have any difficulties, feel free to visit ECLM website. You will get all answers there and more questions to attempt. In measuring length, we have only two main methods that we are going to use to measure length in physics. And the first one is measurement by estimation. Uh, in a measurement by estimation is when you are not using an appropriate instrument. For example, you can decide to use your arm length or your strides. In that case, you have measured by estimation. The other one is accurate measurement using a suitable measuring instrument. 
when you want to measure accurately then you have to use a suitable measuring instrument and in that case we would say that type of measurement is accurate measurement so we are going to see different apparatus which we use to do me accurate measurement and we are going to see also apparatus which we can use to do uh, estimation measurement the first instrument for measuring length is a meter rule and a half meter rule so in this case we are going to discuss first a meter rule and then we will discuss a half a meter rule later uh, for a meter rule this instrument is used to measure a distance not more than 100 centimeters so it means this instrument is only 100 centimeters which is equals to one meter and then the accuracy of this instrument accuracy of this instrument of meter rule is 0 0.1 centimeter or 1 millimeter or 0 0.001 meter accuracy means the smallest number or the smallest dimension you can read directly from a meter rule so if you have a meter rule one mark the distance between the two marks of a meter rule is 0 0.1 centimeter which is equals to one millimeter and which is equals to 0 0.001 meter so this instrument can be used to measure short distances which is not more than one meter the second category of instrument to measure length is a tape measure tape measure we have many types of tape measures but we are going to discuss two here we have a tailor's tape measure and we have a surveyor's tape measure a tailor's tape measure is somehow short and it's very flexible and then a uh, surveyor's tape measure is very long it's about 100 meters and it's used to measure very large lengths like size of a football field then a terrace tape measure is used to measure approximately short lengths another instrument which we can use to measure length is called a vernier calipers and a vernier calipers is used to measure short lengths short length and this instrument we will discuss more about in the form two but what you should know this instrument can be used to measure inner and outer diameter of a cylinder all of a beaker and it can also be used to measure very short uh, distances like small hole on top of your desk this instrument has the ability to measure that Another instrument that we will also discuss in form 2 is called a micrometer screw gauge. A micrometer screw gauge measures very short lengths. Remember in vernier calipers we just said short lengths, but in this case we are saying very short lengths. It means this instrument can even measure one or the thickness of one piece of paper. You can imagine that. So this instrument is going to measure those short lengths and we are going to discuss more about it in form 2 and as you can see on the screen we have a picture of the instrument here so before choosing an instrument to measure length you have to consider various factors and the first factor to consider is the size of the object to be measured like in this case if you need to measure the length of a football field you cannot take a micrometer screw gauge which measures very short lengths to measure that length of the field so in this case you have to choose a, a measuring instrument like a, a, a surveyor step measure which can measure long distances the second factor is the level of accuracy needed if you need a, a accuracy then you have to choose an instrument which will give you the level of accuracy that you need so students, that is the end of our lesson today. We have discussed length and we have said length is the distance between two points. And then we have moved down and discussed the assignment of length and the multiples of, and submultiples of length. And we have done few questions on the same. And then finally, we have looked at instruments which are used to measure length and one of it was meter rule. 
Then we have looked at vernier calipers, we have looked at micrometer screw gauge and tape measures, and then finally we discussed the factors to consider before choosing a measuring instrument. So welcome to ECLIMU. In the next lesson, we will discuss uh, how to use a meter rule.